and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. So, um, today we're going up north to Scotland, Williams Brothers Clute. This is a West Coast IPA and it says on the back, this clean, cool West Coast IPA is brewed with a US ale yeast and pours golden in the glass. A sweet, slightly sweet malt character builds before unleashing the citrus burst of the classic combination of citra, mosaic and chinook hops. So yeah, I like that. That's a good description. And it was actually produced for Audi stores, as it said it was Audi, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so it says on the back. So fair play to Audi for for acknowledge you know, letting them do that and fair play to Williams Brothers for actually doing it because I do feel sometimes that um, good breweries not getting the brand recognition they deserve. Uh, the likes of Brewdog would always kick up a fuss, um, albeit just for you know to serve a purpose. Five point six percent the volume. Let's dive in. So, been an interesting day. <laughs> Cracked open this blooming cask, and uh, yeah, I'm glad it was the boss who. I'm I'm, I'm glad both of us were as clueless as each other's. Um, and um, probably lost half a cask of beer, which is, you know, not good. And uh, I, I have now been, not, I mean, ever, not only have I drank the Raggy's Golden Ale, I've soaked in the book. So, yeah, these things happen, I suppose, don't they? You know, um, uh, live and learn. So, clear golden pour, a little bit of carbonation there. Uh, mass, uh, decent size head on there as usual with my point. Lovely citrus aroma coming off this. Yeah. Looks good, tastes good. I may be out of date, but um, we'll have a look. Do I care about dates? No, I blooming don't. Never have, never will. It is, it's a, a month or so out of date. Do your dates really matter? No, not in the grand scheme of things. You know, it does matter to certain people, but so, no. So, Thursday, the uh, whatever it is of August 2021. Um, yeah, let's dive in, everyone. Like it says, a hint of mould at the start, a bit of bite there. And you know, I've just got home, and, and I think that brick wall has just appeared in front of me. It's like, God, I'm knackered. Absolutely knackered. And uh, maybe I pushed myself too far. Or it's a combination of. Um, maybe anxiety getting, mental health issues getting the better of me again. It's funny, isn't it, life? You know, you can be good in life and still have crap, you know. Sometimes you just look back, take stock, and see where you really are. But uh, anyway, let's get on with the bit. Yeah, it's a nice bite to this, nice citrusy taste. Um, I mean, I've had a lot of West Coast IPAs, and if I'm being honest, I think I prefer the West Coast to the New England versions. Um, although these mm -hmm. days, there's, there's IPAs from every single country in the world. Which is really strange because it's an India Pale Ale. So why is, why is there so many different versions of the same thing? But you know, that's just the world as it is these days. People call beers different things for different reasons, don't they? But whatever the case. Um, yeah, it is what it is on that. Mm. As you say, I'm so, I feel knackered. I think it's that, the, like I said, the proverbial brick wall. I'm just, 
And we, and sometimes you, you can be full of energy and then all of a sudden you're breached. And when you're breached, yeah, that's it. You just, you just struggle. And uh, I think I'm there. I've been get up in the mornings, going to work, coming home, and uh, we're, sp we're spring cleaning the house. It need needed to be done. And uh, look, I think tonight, I think I've just hit that wall, like that bloody brick wall. And uh, whether I just need to have a lie down and think sod it tonight, and uh, I don't know. Fucking fly. <clears throat> yeah, do one. Um, yeah, but in any case, you don't need to listen to me waffling. Ah. I have got a bone of contention, and uh, that bone of contention is with a certain uh, um, a brewery in Nottingham that uh, can't be bothered to respond in any way, shape, or form to a comment, to, to a question that I've sent on two different platforms. So it doesn't show good for their social media presence um, and their customer service. Mm. I'm not going to name names, but they can absolutely sod it from now on. Um, I do dislike going forward companies that can't be asked we're in the middle of pandemic good customer service is critical at the moment you know um even a like on blooming facebook twitter or any of these things you know in the grand scheme of things it means nothing you know but um when you look at some of them, you think so. Are you too big for your boots? You don't care about pump, you know. You don't care about a bit of feedback. Um, I don't care if they care about reviews or not. That's you know, I review the beer. I really don't care if they watch or not. That's not really that, the way I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for me to enjoy the beer and see how it goes. And uh, but it, it it needles you, and uh, there's that thing where you think, well. Shall I call them out on it? Well, yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, I've already got some bone of contentions with Nottingham Craft Beer Festival because certain breweries have not been invited. Certain breweries whose beers are top class, as good as any of the ones already at the festival. And that is definitely going to come up in the video. And uh, will it get me hated by probably some people at the, you know, the, the organisers? Maybe. Do I care? No, never did. Um, <clears throat> you know, oh, I think I'm at that point where I just need to have a drink. <laughs> but we've all got opinions, haven't we? You know, and uh, I've drank a lot, lot of beer from especially local beer this last year or two, and uh, with some cracking breweries in, 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 in and around Nottinghamshire and East Midlands in general. And um, <clears throat> the, um, you know, that, that little nudge up that some of these smaller breweries could do with from these bigger breweries uh, and craft beer organising, festival organisers. Um, yeah, it's disappointing, but I would highlight that on my Nottingham Craft Beer video, which I'm going to do actually from the shed, because I can I can put the thing up there and have a bit of a moan, which I'm going to do. Do I care? No. So anyway, yeah, a nice, more traditional West Coast IPA rather than a full-on craft beer West Coast IPA this is. Got a good flavour, like it says, malty, citrus, some bite, but cer certainly more firmly in, in, I know it comes in the can and all that, but more firmly in the 
more traditional based type of beer than, than a full on craft beer version of a West Coast IPA. That's my uh, feelings anyway. Uh, right or wrong, I don't know. But uh, that's what I feel. So, Golden Pour. It was quite a nice bit of carbonation at the start. White head on the nose. Yeah, I got a citrus, got a little bit of malt on there. Certainly citrus and malty in the taste. And uh, the thing is, it's a pleasant beer. 5.6%. Uh, and it went down well. That's all that matters. Um, Um, I can hear my son in the garden. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's at Aldi's anymore, so, you know, it's probably a very irrelevant review, really, in some ways. Um, but, hey -ho. Um Would I drink it again if I find it? Yeah, I would. I would drink it again. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I like the fact that there's traditional versions and craft beer versions of beers and styles. Um, it gives, traditional versions give the drinkers that don't really want to go full on craft their way of getting into some slightly more different styles. Craft beer drinkers, we want everything in your face a lot of the time. <clears throat> um, you know, this appeases a, a certain time. But I think craft beer drinkers would still like it as well, funnily enough. So, out of five. For me, a good 4.3 out of 5. Yeah, I enjoyed this. And it's nice to get it actually reviewed. I will get around to doing reviews. I, I am going to knock back on what I'm buying. Um, and certainly do some offloading of beers. Because it, it needs to be done. The beer room is um, heavy. Heavy with beers. Right, that's it for this review. Sorry for the moaning. But... Uh, Sometimes you need to get something off your back. There's going to be a moan in the next video. And keep watching. See you soon. Cheers.